We'll be using a free plugin called Duplicator for this. I'll be using Bluehost for this tutorial, but the steps are mostly the same for any web host that you might have. After you've connected your purchased domain name to your hosting, you need to go to the control center of your web host and find your FTP details. Then we need to create a new blank database so that you can import your local sites database here. So in the left hand navigation menu, go to advanced and then databases. Under the section, create new database, provide a name for your new database, then click on create database. Now we're going to add a new database user for our account. Scroll down to add new user under MySQL users, choose a username and a strong password for this user. Then click on create user to finish creating. Then add this user to the new database we have created. Next, assign all privileges to this new user and then click on make changes. Now I'll show you how to use the free plugin duplicator to move your site to this new web host. Step one is to build a package of your local site, which you'll upload to your live site. First, put your live site in maintenance mode using this plugin. So website users can't initiate transactions or make changes on your site. This will keep your site safe from triggering error during this process. Then install and activate duplicator on your local WordPress site. Next, go to duplicator and then from the admin menu, select packages. Click on create new on the top right corner of the screen and then click next. Duplicator will now scan your site to make sure everything is okay before it can proceed to create a backup of your site. You need to get a good result here to proceed. After the build completes, you'll get a confirmation. Download both the installer and the archive. This archive is essentially a backup of your local site. Step two is to upload this package to your live server. So connect to your FTP client by entering your FTP credentials. On the left side, you see your computer files. Find the folder where you downloaded the package and the installer file. Then we need to go to the right side, which displays your web host files and find the root directory, which is often called the public folder. Next, right click and upload the duplicator package and the installer.php files to the public folder. Step three is to install and deploy the package. Type the domain name of your website and add slash install.php like I've shown here. Duplicator will then check if your live site is suitable for deploying the package. And if everything is fine, click next at the bottom and Duplicator will then start extracting the contents of the package so that they can be installed on the live site. Once you pass the tests, click next to install the database. If you didn't pass the tests earlier, then check if all the feed values are correct and retry. But if you still can't connect, then contact your hosting provider. Then click next to continue. Make sure the checkbox named auto delete installer files after login is checked. To finalize the installation, click on admin login. To have a properly functioning site, we need to do three more things that are really important. Firstly, change your site's URLs by opening the PHP My Admin and select your database. From the list of tables shown, click on the WP Options table. You should see a list of option names and their values. Change the values of the site URL and home options to whatever the URL of your live site is. Secondly, flush your permalinks because when you move your local site to a live server, the permalinks to your posts and pages might not work. So in your WordPress dashboard, go to settings, then permalinks, click on save changes. Lastly, we'll fix any broken links using the better search replace plugin. First install and activate it on your live site, then go to tools and better search replace. In the search for field, put your localhost URL. In the replace with field, put the URL of your active site. From the select tables list, select WP posts. Next, click on run search replace at the bottom and make the changes final. I would recommend that you also activate your SSL using a plugin like really simple SSL and test the main components of your website once, like the pages, posts, hyperlinks, images, analytics, etc. 